once in a while I take a break from making whole wheat rotis to making millet rotis or bajra roti. These rotis make a delicious change to a regular menu. Let me show you how I made these. To start I have a pan on medium heat with some water. To it I'll add some salt. Two teaspoons of oil. I'll cover this and wait for the water to come to a boil. When the water has come to a boil, I'll reduce the temperature. Add the millet flour. Mix it. When the water is all absorbed, I'll turn the heat off. I'll continue to knead this for 2 to 3 minutes. After which, I'll cover this and let this cool cool enough to touch after which I'll start making the rotis. When this is cool to touch I'll knead it a little bit more to make a smooth dough. Next step I'll roll the rotis Next step I'll roll the rotis. To roll the rotis on my work surface I'll line it with parchment paper. Apply a little bit of the flour over it. Take a little bit of the dough. I'll cover it with another sheet of parchment paper and gently roll over it. I use this method because it helps me make them thinner and prevents breakage. I'll next cook this over the griddle. I'll let this cook until I see bubbles at which point I'll turn it over and let it cook on the other side. When I see bubbles on the other side I'll finish the cooking on open flame. I'll raise the burner. I let this cook until I see brown spots on both sides. I'll remove this. I 
apply some clarified butter or ghee and it is ready to serve. Millet rotis taste best when served hot from the griddle. They taste best with eggplant curry but you can serve it with any vegetable, dal or yogurt. These delicious rotis are really easy to make. I hope you'll try it. Good food. That was easy cooking. This is Mallika. Please post your comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.